Welcome back to Pathologic Classic HD. It's about 6.45 in the morning on day 6. And we need to go speak to Subarov because Subarov has been staging a bit of a witch hunt, or at least is involved in the witch hunt, for the woman who's responsible for the outbreak at the cathedral. So let's go make our way over to Subarov and along the way find some food because my hunger is very, very high. I believe this place sells food and... Uh, one of the other places here also sells food, either this place or this place, I think. You think? Or, hmm. I might be thinking of this place over here, I'm not sure. Either way, we'll find some food. Hopefully bread or canned vegetables. Because again, I don't want to eat meat or drink milk. Really, I, I pretty much just don't want anything that came from an animal. I suppose an egg would probably be fine. Also, my health is really damn low. You have a bandage, good sir. Oh, thank god. How much do you want for a tourniquet? Five. I don't get it. Why does the tourniquet cost as much as the bandage? Because the tourniquet, as far as I can tell, restores almost no health at all, like it barely does anything. Whereas the bandage restores a good amount. I'm not even gonna buy the tourniquet. Just feels like a waste. Let's take the bandage. Affected 316, total death toll 900. It all ends in less than seven days. The emissary arrives tomorrow. Day six, in which the bachelor is offered several possible sources of the infection to choose at his discretion. Hmm. I'm guessing that's talking about who's responsible for the infection at the cathedral? Or just in general. That's right, I am supposed to find out who is the original carrier of the sickness, right? Hmm. I honestly don't understand what the point of that is. Who cares who the original person is? I, I don't know, maybe there's some scientific value in knowing that. Hmm. Cracker? Yeah, I'll take a cracker. It gives me almost nothing. There's something I was going to say. Oh yeah, the emissary arrives tomorrow. That confuses me a little bit. Because I think they're talking about the Inquisitor, the, the train that's going to arrive, right? The thing is, I was thinking the train would arrive today. And that's because... Hmm, something said it's going to arrive in four days. It must have been this, right? Day two. Uh, yeah. We'll send we'll send a special train carrying medicine, sanitary equipment, and personnel. We expect the train to arrive in four days. The Inquisitor will travel separately. If the sanitary train reaches the town before the Inquisitor, the personnel and equipment therein will be yours to manage. Okay, so it sounds like maybe the Inquisitor is going to arrive tomorrow, but perhaps the train with the supplies will arrive today? Because it says they expect it to arrive in four days. This was sent on day two. So, one, two, three, four. Four days from there would be day six, which is today. So yeah, perhaps the equipment will come today. Or maybe they were just wrong and it's actually going to come tomorrow. Let's go and see if this is a food store up here. Let's also speak with Lara Ravel, since she is one of the people that is believed to possibly be responsible for the cathedral. Although I suspect she's not actually going to be inside of here. Oh no, she is here. Okay. What? Oh, I can ask for food and medicine. I'd be extremely thankful to you if you could feed me and provide me with medicine. 
go ahead and take anything you might need. Uh, do you have some food or medicine? Um, oh, wow. You do actually have medicine, okay. What about food, though? Doesn't seem like it. They still got some immunity boosters. It's all right. The train will arrive soon. It will bring everything we need to be saved. Good day, Laura. The governor believe it believes it's. Good day, Daniel. I'm not offended at all. You don't have to say anything. Do you need my hand, my arm? I wanted to talk to you first. Where were you last night? I stayed in, just like you advised everyone to. I found out about the cathedral situation in my usual way, by listening to the shouting in the streets. And then my former milk lady, she's still alive, can you imagine that? Knocked on my window and told me about my necklace. What necklace? I had antique jewelry. It was very dear to me. And not just me. Stamaton offered me 10,000 for it. A fortune back then. Especially for an ordinary Kamane tree necklace with dark metal lacework. I don't really think it was worth that much, although the carving was magical. The beads from this necklace were found at the cathedral. Are you crying? The beads were in their mouths. Those poor unfortunates were muttering that Mara sprayed her tears over them. Others said she kissed them. The rest claimed that she offered them water. People call these beads Lara Ravel's Tears. And now everyone thinks... And now everyone will think it was my doing. So someone stole her necklace and used the beads. Hmm. I'll dissuade them. Check my blood first. It's only fair. At least you won't have any doubts that you're telling the truth then. Thank you, Laura. Oh, so I actually took a sample, huh? Laura's blood. Laura Ravel's blood test. Laura did not hesitate to give me her blood. I need to study it under the microscope. Okay. So I can see whether she actually has the plague within her, right? That's what I'm studying it for. Is there a microscope back at my original place I'm staying at at Ava's, or do I have to go to Rubens to study it? I've only actually seen a microscope at Rubens. Hmm. <laughs> Not to mention I don't really want to go to Ava's place because it's in an infected region. Okay, well I'm going to want to get blood from everybody who is suspected of the crime, so I believe the other ones that are suspected of the crime are Yulia and Ava. And, well, Ava's just right back there, so you know what? Maybe I should go back right now. Yeah, okay. I'll go back right now. Oh, my hunger's so freaking high. Don't mind me, I'm just compulsively reloading my revolver. How many shots do I have for the revolver? Hmm. Well, at most six. Oh, this thing's durability is 26%. That's not good. I'm not going to get much more use out of it. Be careful here. The infection is everywhere and more aggressive than it's ever been. And there's a fire bomber. Great.
Oh god, oh, there's two of them, and I think they're about to throw them at me or the guard. Please, no. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Jesus Christ, just keep running, just keep running, just keep running, just keep running, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Uh, if I remember right around here, a thing is gonna come lunging at me, one of those weird things. Nope, that's not one of the weird things. Dodge that. Oh, there's another one. Dodge that. Playgrass coming at me. Dodge that. And Ava saved me. Oh. Yes. Hmm. Oh, that's weird. I can't ask her for blood. I feel like I've already talked to her as well, but I was thinking maybe I talked to her before I triggered some sort of a quest thing that would allow me to ask for their blood. But... Looks like these go nowhere. It's so... That's okay. Yeah. Huh. Isn't she one of the suspects? I could have sworn she was. Let's see if I have a microscope up here. Oh, I do. Okay. Well, might as well study it right now, huh? Uh, I don't know what I'm looking at. I see... Things. What does the infection look like again? It's been a long time since I've seen it. I think her blood looks fine. If I remember right, the infected blood that I looked at a long time ago at Ruben's place looked a lot more crazy. Looks like someone is trying to get rid of several young women before the Inquisitor's arrival, and that someone is Governor Big Vlad. Have I spoken to him recently? I can't remember. I am going to be going by his place, though. On my way to Sabarov, so... Might as well pay him another stop, I guess? Any more bandages? Ah, oh, yes. There we go. Health is sitting at about 60% now. That's pretty good. I would love some children to trade with. I especially want more rounds for my revolver. In fact, maybe I should even pay somebody to fix my revolver. Although, again, somebody did say that there's a chance to get a free rifle on day 7. So, maybe I shouldn't actually fix my revolver. Maybe I should just let its durability go down and then try to switch it out for the rifle or something. Let's see if you've got any needles. Yes, you do. That is a good trade good. Repellent Cloak, 12,000. No thanks. I'll take the needles, though. Big Vlad's just over here. Yeah, I mean, it can't hurt to talk to people again and again, so long as you don't waste too much time. You never know when somebody might have something really important to say. Sometimes it's unclear that you should talk to people. Why are my children like this? Here we go. Yeah, there is something new. Do you know what happened in the cathedral? Yes. Sabarov insists it could have been either Lara or Yulia. I'm sure both are innocent, though. Either Anna Angel or a criminal harborer called Aspidy must be the culprit. Am I correct in assuming you must be familiar with both of those ladies? Yes. What makes you think so? We have su sufficient proof that warrants examination. 
One of them is the carrier. The man-eater that Georgie's men were hopelessly looking for on the very first day. However brilliant your discovery was, it made them give up on the hunt, erroneously. Hmm. So, I've made a mistake. Is that what you're saying? Pray pardon me. Instead of connecting two glaring facts and realizing two enemies are indeed one, you were too rash to consider them two different entities. You probably thought that a murderous man-eater and a lethal disease are mutually exclusive. After what happened in the termitary, I'd rather accuse you and not these women of cannibalism. Careful, bachelor. My teeth are sharp too. I know the law. The powers that be hold your life in the palm of their hand. If the one who caused the catastrophe slips away due to your actions, oh my goodness, I do not envy you. I see. Go ahead and lynch the beauties yourself, kind sir. I want no part of this. We have been informed that one of them visited the termitary two days prior to your arrival. Do examine them, Dankovsky. Look deeply into their blood. You're the only one who can tell a human being from a creature. Point at the offender, and the rest will live. So I'm actually going to have to get somebody killed then. If I point to somebody, they're dead. I'll do just that. Alright, what's happened to my quest? Ogimsky's certain that both Anna and Aspidy are guilty. Could it be avarice that drives his conclusion rather than common sense? Perhaps he is right. To an extent. Both women are indeed suspicious. I must examine their blood against the sample that we obtained yesterday. Everything will come to light then. Okay, so I need samples from Anna, Aspidy, and I guess still Yulia? Now, again, I'm supposed to protect my adherence, so who of those people that could possibly be guilty are not my adherents? Oh. I guess none of them are. Ava, who I thought was a suspect, apparently is not. She's the only one that I thought was a suspect who's actually on my list, so I guess I could point to any one of the possible women that might be responsible, and if they get killed, well, I guess... Obviously, it wouldn't be good, but I mean, they're not on my list of adherents, so I guess it won't ruin my life or whatever happens if you lose one of your adherents. Alright, now I don't even know if I need to go to Yulia. I thought I needed blood from Yulia, but maybe not. Hmm. I still want to see if I can get blood from Yulia. Let's do it. I'm gonna go straight north to Yulia. Let's go speak with her. Ah, more fire bombers. They sound like freaking hulks. Jesus. Look at those uh, two freaking thieves over there. Oh god. Okay, thieves that way and... Oh, dodge the knives! Maybe the thieves will kill the fire starters, the fire starters will burn the thieves, and there's another thief. Jesus Christ! This place is crawling! Nope. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. And now there's a plague rat. <laughs> Got quite the train. Let's ditch them at the clothes shop. Oh. 
Alright. Yep, there's a needle. Let's grab that. Anything else worth getting? Disposable gloves. Hmm. Protective mat. Jesus Christ, that's 37,000. 37,000 for a mask. <sighs> yeah, um, no. How about no? How about I buy none of that and then I save my money for food so I can actually, like, live? Rather than buying equipment so that I can, like, tank damage from from people and from infections and stuff like that, I'd rather just try to deftly avoid the infections and the people. As the mind endeavors to reach one goal, the heart insensibly drags us towards another. So, what is the news? Any further discoveries? Yesterday, I finally saw the murderer. A very unpleasant sight. Oh, is that so? Would you tell me more? tell a sick joke about it being a a strange creature why would I want to say that no it could have been worse what we're dealing with is a bacterium of a very distinctive type although I have to admit I've never seen anything like it it propagates extremely quickly it's truly unbelievable however I have a theory already what kind of theory hmm I want to read both of these, actually. Let's read them out. A bacterium of this kind could only emerge in a very specific environment, so I suspect that all cases we're dealing with have to have a common source. I so much hope it's true. If this source of infection is eradicated, the outbreak will cease. Or, an infection like this can only be spread by a living being, in whose blood the bacteria procreate at an insane rate. I don't believe that the host realizes that at all. Make note of how the disease behaves. It burns bright, and then it burns out very quickly. Huh. I I'm not sure if these two dialogue options are actually at odds with each other. It seems like they could both be just different ways of saying the same sort of thing. Although this one seems to specifically talk about eradicating the source, in other words, killing the person, assuming it is a person. Which, given what I'm doing today, collecting blood samples, it seems like it is going to be a person. Whereas this one specifically says... This one specifically absolves the carrier of knowledge that they're at the carrier. Basically, it says that they're innocent. They're unknowingly carrying it. Let's go with that. Let's be generous. Why? The bacteria that have already escaped into the open will expire very soon. They can't survive without living blood. And whenever they find blood, they immediately deplete it, to consequently perish like fish out of water. Well, this leads us to a very simple conclusion. Find the guilty party, and burn them. Then the age of blissful serenity will come down upon us. It's nothing more than a theory. If it turns out to be true, we can consider the outbreak curbed. Hopefully. She doesn't look like an evil spirit. She's indeed unlike us. Yulia, you stand accused of a crime. Saparov wants to publicly announce that it was you who visited the cathedral. Does he now? So these are the consequences of yesterday's conversation. A domino effect, no less. To what do I owe the pleasure of your company, then? Did you come to see me as a friend? Or in your, shall we say, official capacity? Do you know what happened in the cathedral? Of course. A terrifying tragedy. But also a mere nuisance compared to the overall drama. Be honest with me. Were you there? I know 
they have found something that belongs to me in the cathedral. Let us see. A white scarf made of silk. A set of silver earrings with tiny emeralds in them. A gold ring made in the shape of a squirrel biting its tail. A pair of suede mittens. And a twirine flask adorned with a crude engraving of me. Is this all? Oh, wait. Are you serious? They found all of those things? I, I can't tell if she's, like, joking or if she actually means that. If so, then obviously somebody's trying to, like, frame them, right? Because if not only Yulia's stuff, if not only Lara's stuff was found in the cathedral, but also Yulia's stuff, then that just smacks, you know, that just smells of a... of a frame job. How did your belongings find their way into the cathedral, Yulia? I gave these trinkets to... someone whom I believe to be innocent. At least that is what my calculations suggest. However, you have mentioned Sabarov. This does not quite gel. Could it be a case of split personality? Tell me the name. At least I'll be able to ask this person a few questions. I'd like you to promise me that the person in question will not suffer your anger. Instinctive anger. Inconsiderate fury. These are no good advisors on the matter. This is a very complicated case, you see. No matter how tempting the most obvious conclusions may be. Yes, I give you my word of honor. Her name is Clara. She is a little girl with quite a few peculiar thoughts to play with. Oh, the Changeling, one of the other playable characters. Hmm. Oh, a curious definition. I assume you know her well, and have had time to grow fond of her. They say she is a gifted hypnotist. They do say that, don't they? Though I feel more amused by something else. The rumors of a semi-transparent witch are obvious nonsense. But then, how did it get into the cathedral? You have inspected everything inside, did you not? The building was hardly prone to an intrusion like this. Not a single person died there in two days. I believe from what the people said when I went there, didn't they say that they... the person who entered bribed the guards? Yes, the building was almost watertight. This cathedral is damned, Daniel. Your project required a miracle to bear fruit. Yet no miracle would ever happen within this empty shell of a temple. Everything that has transpired was to be expected. The cathedral was breached because there was no possibility it wouldn't happen. These circumstances were ushered in by causes of a higher order. Why is the cathedral damned, though? She's given me no reason to believe that the cathedral is damned. I know the cathedral is strange. Because it was built but then never used, right? Which is very bizarre. Mm. Still, do show me your hand, please. Whoa. Oh, I, I think that was normal. Just the infection getting worse. <laughs> Jesus Christ, my character's so hungry. So she just gave me her blood sample, right? Yep. What? Yes. Alright, that's it. Let's go speak with Sabrov, I suppose. I mean, I do want to stop by Anna's place and Aspidy's place to get blood samples, but Sabarov is along the way, so I might as well. And Jesus Christ, I need food. Like, I need food, like, right now. That actually is, like, my highest priority.
9 a.m., still plenty of time in the day. I'm gonna have to sleep pretty soon, though. My exhaustion's really high. Uh, I believe this place right here sells food. So I'm gonna stop by there in a second after I'm done talking to Sabarov. Do you have a bandage? Excellent. Let's go speak with... What is her name again? Katarina. Let's go speak with Katarina first. Matchmakers are coming. Trying to woo me. I hope this changeling gets caught soon. What a despicable creature. A product of the steppe's insanity. Made of bones and clay. Do you know that the suspect is one of the young local noble women? If it turns out that Mara is indeed one of the suspects, will you be able to just purify her? Well, I wouldn't be in a hurry to end anyone's life, that's for sure. The person that had brought all this upon us deserves nothing but death. You'll have to prove her guilt first. The proof is in her veins, isn't it? This might be the case. And if it turns out to be Clara, please just kill her instantly and spare her the torture. I've already grown fond of the girl. I'd rather take her to you. You've communicated with her abundantly, and there were no dire consequences, right? Let the truth triumph. This is what you want, isn't it? Ooh. Ooh. Ho ho ho, I can ask her for her blood sample. Yes. My lady. I apologize for my impudence, but there is a favor I have to ask of you. Would you be so kind as to lift your sleeve? This is your duty now. Thank you. It won't take long. Uh, did I get it? Huh? I didn't get the sample. What? My stomach hurts as if I was filled with straw. I don't get it. Why, why didn't I get the sample? The herb gatherer. What? Why didn't I get the sample? What? The hell? Shit. Shit, shit, shit. I was just thinking. Sa Sabarov is leading this... Or is one of the people that is behind this witch hunt. I believe. Although I think Big Vlad is as well. Maybe Big Vlad is more behind it than Sabarov, but regardless, it wouldn't surprise me if it turned out that the person, the, the woman responsible for this, is one of the... one of the, uh... one of the women attached to the ruling families. In this case, Sabarov. Sabarov's wife, Katerina. It wouldn't surprise me if it was her, and he was perhaps going after other people and doesn't want anybody to look at Katarina. So I was feeling very happy about getting a sample from her, because I was thinking there could be a twist. Maybe that's the twist. Maybe it's actually her. Even though nobody suspects her, nobody else suspects her, the quest doesn't mention that I should look at her or get her sample. But the fact that I came to talk to her anyway and could it look like I could get a sample made me think that maybe that is a twist and I might find something there. There might be something, something to it, but I don't actually have the sample. So it looks like it just bugged out or something? I don't know. Shh. Did you hear that? Yes. The herb gatherers have performed their foul rite on the raggy barrow. Strange. Also, I forgot that I, from one of the fire starters, I picked up um, this thing. Combustible fluid. Huh. I was thinking maybe I could actually lob it myself as like a grenade, but I can't equip it. So I wonder what it's good for. Maybe just a trade item? 
or perhaps used in a quest. The rabble is completely out of control. They must have been bottling up their lowly instincts for quite some time. Do you already know what happened in the cathedral? Yes. Tragic, but at least it makes our jobs easier. The man-eater rumors turn out to be true. If we catch her, things will get better. I don't want to believe that it's Lara or Yulia, but the evidence is too obvious to just let them walk, isn't it? Did you order to arrest Lara and Yulia? I'm going to. If we fail to establish which one of the two it was, both are going to the dungeons, to wait for the Inquisitor's arrival. Jesus Christ. I need to figure this out before the Inquisitor comes tomorrow. Because you know what Inquisitors do, right? They torture people. As soon as the Inquisitors get to those two women, not only is it horrible and disgusting what they're going to do to them, but after that, any chance of getting the actual truth just goes down the drain. On what grounds? Most solid. Items belonging to them were found inside the cathedral. Lara was even identified. Those few who were still able to speak mentioned her name. That's not enough. Whatever shape this man-eater takes, I will unmask her. The anonymous person who bailed out the murderous criminals and emptied the jail yesterday, that too was a woman. She came there twice, and the disease broke out in the left wing of the jail after her first visit. Huh. Well, that's gotta be Anna, right? But why do you think that it was one of the young women in question? Who else could have bailed them out? Don't be so quick to accuse the young ladies. Oh, what just happened to my quest? Was that another? Or... Nope, it was... Oh wait, no, that was a letter, wasn't it? No, it was a quest. I guess it's this. There's a terrifying rumor spreading of the carrier in the cathedral. It has put everyone into a state of trepidation. Sabarov places the blame on Yulia and Lara. The experiment that Ruben and I conducted was a success. The truth should be easy to establish. We only need to test the blood. You don't happen to have a microscope here, do you? No. Okay, where to now? Uh, food. I need food badly. Let's go out here and hang a right. Oh, see if you have a bandage. have non-animal products. <sighs> Shit. Hmm. Well, it is a dried fish, so maybe it's okay. I'm gonna take it. I need food. I'm not gonna take meat, but fish? Dried, preserved fish? From a while ago? From before the infection, I suppose? It's probably fine. Oh, that really did not help that much. Where's the bread? I wonder if there's enough bread and even bread and vegetables in the entire town to even actually sate my hunger. Maybe there isn't. Alright. Get a sample from Anna. Child! Yes! The children have come out to play. Trade me. I need your goods. Wait, what is this? Are you smelling of fish? No way. You're not supposed to eat fish. Or catch it. Ought touch it. <laughs> it should say or. Neither can you eat bread. Or go outside. You're not supposed to do anything at all. And that includes breathing. So how are we supposed to live? Cleanse every object you get in contact with. Use antiseptics. 
boil and anneal everything that can be boiled and annealed. Sure. Should we boil air or anneal it? Just stay in Anne's Stop Roaming the Streets. <laughs> and also, I'm starving for lemons and sugar. Yeah, me too. I hear you. Uh, so yeah, since I might get a rifle tomorrow, let's trade for the rifle. Or trade for the rifle ammo, rather. Have you met ominous people in circus costumes here? Anna, you were accused of what happened in the cathedral. It wasn't me, it's Clara. It was her, it's all her doing. Even the Sabrovs have acknowledged it. They're horrified, I've been told. Torn apart between affection and duty. Katerina has torn her clothes to pieces, hair unstrung, wallowing naked as her, at her husband's feet, begging to spare her daughter. Are you by any chance reciting some monologue? It's hard to believe the Sabrovs are capable of such fervent scenes. They very much are. Katerina has only just turned 30. As for fervency, she has quite an exquisite temper, just so you know. Morphine in her head and passion in her blood. Oh, she's capable of many things. A demonic woman. Wait, Katerina has just turned 30. She's 30? She does not look 30, she looks far older. I wonder if all of her visions and, and magic has perhaps prematurely aged her. And that brings us smoothly to the most pressing matter. I need a sample of your blood. My blood? That's news? Do you think my blood is of different color and thus deserves your most careful scrutiny? Holy shit, look at this option! How about I shoot you, you mezzo-soprano, huh? It's not like there'll be anyone to mourn the loss. And you know me, if something is required for the job to be done. Jesus Christ! I can threaten to shoot her? No. I'm not gonna do that. I'm waiting. Here, take it. I have nothing to be afraid of. I just don't like the sight of blood is all. <laughs> Ouch! Does it have to be so painful? Why are you taking so much? I'm going to faint. You're trying to kill me, Butcher. But I'm not guilty. What? I haven't squeezed out even an ounce yet. Alright, I actually got her sample. Unlike with Katerina. So it was Clara in the cathedral tonight. Have you met ominous people in circus costumes here? So it was Clara. Life is hard. Okay. Getting more and more samples. The last one that I believe I need is Aspides. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to travel through the infected districts around here, which is going to be rather unpleasant. Make my way to Aspidy's place, try to get her blood sample. And then, after that, perhaps we'll learn the truth of who is the carrier. <laughs>